All right, tonight we're gonna make some tasty stuff. Uh, we're gonna make, to start with, a the spinach salad with oranges and red onions uh, that you guys love. So um, one thing that I just wanted to show you, I've mentioned before washing things like basil, lettuce, spinach, uh, if you just rinse it off in water, then a lot of times any dirt that is on it from when it was grown is going to just stick to it. And so it's better to do it in a bowl and then lift it out of the water. And so I wanted to show you um, just super quick that. So with this bunch of spinach, you can obviously buy washed spinach in the, uh, in the grocery store, and it's pretty good. I still wash it a little bit anyway. This is from a whole bunch of spinach, so not from the packaged washed one but you see just uh, just kind of plunge it in the in the water like that and then lift it out and I'm doing this in my salad spinner so I'm just lifting it out into the strainer part like that and basically what happens is any dirt that's on it will drop to the bottom easy enough right You just have to wash out your bowl and you're good to go. So now I'm going to spin this and then I'll show you how to make the salad. Okay, so we have a couple parts to the salad. You have the spinach uh, and you have thinly sliced red onions and you have the sectioned oranges and olive oil and black pepper and a little bit of salt. So this is uh, an onion that I had used for something else earlier and so I'm just going to take the edges off this a little bit and basically all you're going to do is um, just like always you know this is just a half of an onion and some of it I've already used and so you you're just going to slice along uh, the the lines like like always kind of your first part of um, your first part of, sl of when you're cutting up an onion or dicing an onion and you just you don't want a lot of this and this is kind of a funny when you see how how thick the uh, the sections are, right? So you don't want a whole whole lot. You just want a few of these little slices, and you just slice it as thin as you possibly can. And if it gets too thick, then we're going to use that for something else. But that's probably going to be enough for us. Okay, so I'm just going to put this into my bowl here. And in fact, I'd rather not have that piece in in my salad that's a little bit too much for me but those types of pieces are nice there we go and I'm only cooking for two people tonight right so I'm gonna make this uh, make this pretty simple okay put the rest of these okay now I want to show you my oranges okay so here's your orange and you got the stem end and you got the bottom right so you take both those off and you want to cut into it enough that you can see the fruit through the white, okay, on both ends. Stand it up on the end. Now this takes some practice, but it's really not that hard. Basically what you're doing is you're, you're peeling the orange, but you also want to be peeling not just the, uh, the outer peel part, but also the white, the white part. So you're, and at the same time, you don't want to be taking off too much of the fruit. So you're going to be cutting like this. Right, so you see that I've I've kind of skinned it, and I haven't taken too much of the fruit off of it. There's just a little bit left on there, and I want to do that all the way around. And my goal is to nicely peel the orange and get all the white off of there, and obviously all the peel along with it, but leave the whole fruit intact. Okay. So there we go, working my way around here, and if I miss a little bit, I go back and take it off. So there we go, right? So there's the, there's the orange, ready to go, and now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it directly into the bowl, because that way I'm going to get any juice that comes off of it. Now you need to do this really super carefully because you're cutting uh, toward your hand and so you just need to go very, very gently. But you start with one, um, you're going right, you're gonna section it right along the way that it's grown so it has the little kind of separator section 
things, you, you cut so you see that you're just going to the middle. You're not going all the way through, so I just do it very lightly and gently. And my goal is to get up against the white part as much as I can, and then I go to the other side of the section, and I do the same thing, just really gently, one little slice, and then I kind of turn my knife, and the section will come out. So look at that. Perfect, perfect little orange section. And you can see here now how it grows, right? You can see the, the two sides of the section and it's totally cut clean. Now I go to the next one. So I work my way to the right. I'm kind of turning, turning my orange to the left a little bit and working my way to the right. So I go to the next section and now I'm gonna just cut the little white slice right there. You see that? And I can kind of push it over to the side. And now I go to the next section right there so I can get it out. And there it is. And now I just do this all the way around. Now you can use a smaller knife. You can use a you can use a paring knife. I actually sometimes use a bigger knife, a larger slicing knife. You'd like it to have a thin knife that is uh, really sharp. That's kind of your goal. That helps a lot. And the slices usually just kind of come right out, right? They're not all uniform size. So this is a thin one. And my next one's a little bit thicker. That's just how the oranges grow. There we go. Make my way around. One after the other. If I miss a little bit, I go back. And this is just something that takes practice, but it's not too hard. You just, it's like always, right? You let your knife do the work for you. You're not pressing too hard. You're just kind of slicing in a little bit and you can feel it when it gets to that middle part. You don't need to go too hard. So I'm on my last one here, right? See that? There's the edge. And there we have it, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze that middle part. You gotta be careful if there are seeds in your orange. This is a seedless navel orange. And there we have it, right? So I'm gonna do this with two more oranges. So I've got just a bit of onion. I'm gonna have three oranges in there and the juice from three oranges. And the juice is gonna provide the acid uh, that we want for the salad dressing for the spinach. Okay, time to finish up our salad here. We've got our, our orange segments. We've got some orange juice. We've got our little slices of onions. And we have our spinach. So I'm gonna add some spinach. I'm not gonna do the whole bunch. And to be honest with you, three oranges is probably too much for, uh, for two people. But we add our spinach in. And then I'm gonna use a really nice olive oil on this. This is an olive oil called Very Tot that is uh, relatively new, was given to me by a good friend of ours. And just a little bit of olive oil, enough to kind of coat it. That was probably a tablespoon or so. And then I'm gonna add black pepper. A good amount, I like to have a good amount of black pepper in this salad. And then I'm gonna toss it nicely. Now you want to be gentle with it because you don't want to uh, break up the you don't want to break up the the beautiful pieces of um, of orange slices, right? So get that guy out of there. Now, if you like it a little more acidic, there's nothing wrong with adding a little bit of vinegar if you want. Okay. So here's your salad, and I'm serving this as a side with other things tonight. So I'm just gonna put a bit on the plate here. And you get your spinach on there first. And you get your orange slices on there. Now the one thing about this salad is that it does not keep all that well, like most salads, once you've dressed it. So I wait till the last minute to serve this baby. But look at that. That's so tasty. All right, there's your spinach salad with orange slices or orange segments and red onion.